What's up everyone, welcome back to this video. I recently got a pair of shorts that I felt like um, deserved their own video. I had seen these shorts a few weeks ago for like retailers that stocked uh, Capital. I thought the shorts were super sweet, but um, I wasn't really willing to spend like $340 on them. Um, and that's before like tax. It's just usually how much they sell for in like the United States. But um, I had a friend who went to Japan recently and I think he got back like last week or just like a few days ago. And I told him if he could go to the Capitol store and check some stuff out. I was personally looking at like the bone shorts. I don't know if you've seen them before, but they're just like jorts, except they have like bone print on the side, like sewn onto the side of them. And then I also wanted a few like denim jackets. And there's like a hoodie that they have that's like bandana print on the front and then quilted on the back. Um, if you guys look at like capital stuff, you guys definitely know which ones I'm talking about. And unfortunately they didn't have like anything in my size and just like nothing in stock in general. But he was like FaceTiming me when he was at the store. And uh, I had seen like the corner of his FaceTime, like the, the foil shorts is what they're called. So then I wanted him to like go check what the price was on those, at least in Japan. I think they were like 22,000 yen, which like came out to a conversion of like $165 or something. So they're literally like half the price in Japan than they are if you buy them online in like the United States. So yeah, I end up having him get those for me. Um, my like capital flares are a size 36, but I uh, went with a 34 on these shorts and that was super lucky because the 34 fits me perfectly. And yeah, I wanna make a video just for these shorts because I feel like they're really interesting. I'm gonna have some close up uh, video of the shorts, but these are the shorts that I'm talking about. And they're basically just some jean shorts that have been like, pressed with this foil material, so they have like a chrome silvery look. Um, they're super crazy, and uh, they're just a leather capital patch on the back, which is super crispy. But what caught my attention on these is that these aren't necessarily gonna look this way forever. I left the tag on, I haven't worn them yet, but there's like a few things about these um, shorts that I thought were really sweet. And so here on the tag, it just says, fabric fraying is also part of the design specifications. So if you can see at the bottom here, it's been cut in this like, Kind of like a shark tooth looking style and uh that's just so this can start fraying as you wear them so it'll kind of get a look just like the uh ben davis shorts that i showed in my previous video how they start fraying and then also the foil is supposed to start peeling off as you uh wear them as you like sit in chairs sit in your car seat stuff like that the foil is going to start peeling off and uh, i think that's just super cool because there's supposed to be like an indigo dye underneath this so as you kind of beat these up, the indigo dye will start showing out and the foil will kind of feel like a little bit more sporadic. Yeah, these are super sweet. These fit very similarly to like the Ben Davis shorts and the uh, Levi shorts that I was showing. These are super like baggy and loose. Definitely gonna have to beat these up a lot uh, just so I can get them to look like how I would want them. Um, I, don't, I hope they're not like super foily all the time, of course. Um, what intrigued me was like the process of the foil coming off and the fraying at the bottom. Throw these on just so you guys can see how they look. I should have some like up close video of them 